Let's go. This is the Lord's Day, the 21st Sunday after Trinity. Today is the last Sunday in the month of October 2023, and it's the 29th day of October 2023. Yes, I will remember to say happy birthday to Feikemi Oriyomi, Mrs. Feikemi Oriyomi, Ni Babalola. It's your day today, and we give God all the glory for your life. Living a new life in Christ is the topic for your life boy today. This is your life boy today. And talking about living a new life in Christ, we will be reading from the second epistle of Paul to the Corinthians in chapter 5. And our reading will be from the sixth verse. Let's go now. So, we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We have good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So, whether we are at home or away, we must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive good or evil according to what he has done in the body. Therefore, Knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade men, but what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to be proud of us, so that you may be able to answer those who pride themselves on a man's position and not his heart. For if we are in, besides ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us because we are convinced that one has died for all. Therefore, all have died. And he died for all that those who live might live no longer for themselves but for him who for the sake for their sake died and was raised this is the word of the lord thanks be to god living a new life in christ is all about living a life that is pleasing unto him and there is no way that you can change locations, jobs, positions, and things will not change around you. My wife and I have had reasons to move from one place to another over the years that we've been married, even changing cities where we are located, and sometimes even for short stays. And my observation is that each time we get into a new place, even if it's just for two weeks that we will be there, we have to reorder how we would live for those few days that we would be where we would be. The way we would live will be different from where we are coming from. That is the same thing about life in Christ. Once you move to a new life in Christ, the way you live will be different. You can't be pleasing yourself anymore. You must please God. You are now guided by the constitution of God his rules and regulations and you know god is always just 
You do that which he wants you to do. He does that what that you want him to do within his will. It's as simple as that. So living a new life in Christ is living according to the word of God, living according to the dictates of the scriptures, living, living according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. That's all you need. Just have the Holy Spirit and know your scriptures very well and you'll be living a perfect new life in Christ. Perfect because you'll be guided by the Holy Spirit. Yes, a few flaws, a few mistakes, a few um, uh, moving away from the right path may occur from time to time, but you'll always be taken back, back to that path of living a new life in Christ once you are in Him. And that's why I will be inviting you right now. If you are not yet in Christ and not living a new life in Him, come. You need to come. When Paul wrote this to the Corinthians, it was because he had written a first epistle to them and he expected them to have changed and they didn't change. And so he wrote the second one. Now we have been preaching on your life, boy, today, every day, but because some people are still not yet in Christ, we keep on preaching by the day. So perhaps today is for you listening to me right now and watching me for you to also start living a new life in Christ. If you are set for that experience, just say this prayer, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I want to live a new life in you. Therefore, forgive me of all the sins of my past. I accept you as Lord and Savior, recognizing that you died and rose for me. And I pray that you also accept me too as one of yours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of faith. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith. If you are fellowshipping with us ahead of nine o'clock on Sunday, then come join us at the Anglican Church of Okiese Extension Oshobo. You can also actually join us virtually uh, for our Bible study from nine o'clock to nine thirty. That's just thirty minutes. But you can also come physically. And if it's midweek, you want to join us. Join us every Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, all in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Midland High Schools, Oinikon and Gokyomi Garden Drive, Uruki Asset Extension, Oshobo, where we are at the moment. But very soon we'll be living a new life in Christ in our own purpose-built church. Look at the bank account details on the screen. Do something to partner with us so that we can begin living that new life in a physical context right now, worshiping in our own church. And as you go out today now, you need to say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, give me the grace to begin a new life in you. A life that will be patterned after that of Jesus. That I may also walk with him, walk in him, walk for him, and let him walk in me and walk in me. That all together... I may be more presentable and live a more glorious life in Christ. I pray through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Recognize that living a new life in Christ is what you should be all about. Do it and it will be well with you. God bless you richly. Christ is our Lord.